everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining a backrooms level that's broken. No, literally, that's the name. The Broken. This one is a very trippy and confusing level, and it's honestly probably the best one I've read in a while. I really enjoyed it. Hope you will too. Let's get into the video, shall we? So, the Broken Backrooms level is classified as a class death zone, and it has multiple environmental hazards that make it dangerous to even be in. The level really can't be considered a level, because it's so fragmented and shattered and glitchy that it expands outside of what we would normally consider a level. It's just a massive wasteland of corrupted images, planes, data, and other things that our tiny human brains can't even begin to comprehend. Even though it's hard to describe, I'm gonna try it anyway. So the broken looks like a kaleidoscope, kind of, and it's extremely unstable everywhere you look. The architecture and the shapes here don't make any sense to our brains, and they don't follow the normal shapes and patterns that we know of. The terrain itself of the level is made out of broken, swirling matter. And you can actually walk on this terrain, even though it's glitchy and warping. But who knows how that's even possible. The level is very colorful and very vibrant, and the further you walk into it, the worse it'll get for you. Just looking at the spaces around you will make you start to go insane just from seeing what you're looking at. Just seeing everything crumble and warping won't help your sanity either. Now, some people call the broken a splintered plane of existence. Kind of like a reality that went too far and became so corrupt that you can't even tell what it is anymore. It became so digitized that it's not even real. The strange colors and shapes and movements and reality bending things are not the only dangers here though, because there's actually a noise that's constantly blasting full volume on this level. The noises are coming from literally everywhere, but it's like this amplified, disturbing, bass boosted sound that you could probably think of what it sounds like. I mean, just look at the picture of this level and listen to what you would imagine a noise would sound like there, and that's what it would be. There are also objects in this level that flow through the ground and the sky and they come back up and go everywhere it doesn't make any sense the wiki dot describes the level as a place that you can't even fathom or begin to understand because of how corrupted and how laggy it is ironically there are actually structures here in the level as well but the only problem is that they can change shape and are devoid of any actual material they're just warped atoms i guess so you might see a pyramid or something but then you can go right up to it and walk directly through it or glitch beside it and you won't even see it again. It'll just disappear. On the horizon of the level, you can see an effect that is kind of like that one from Minecraft when you're loading in new chunks of the world. So if you keep walking, you'll see the world build on itself, which must mean that this level has the ability to load new and infinite parts of itself, which is crazy. The newer the location, the more chaotic and broken it'll be. And for that reason, it's said that you shouldn't wander into this level at all, unless you're insane. Some people think that this level has some kind of relationship with the backrooms as a whole, a sort of symbiotic relationship. Like the backrooms might feed off of this place's unstable and hostile energies, and it might use those energies to create entities or other levels that we know about. Who knows? Now, some of the places found in the Broken kind of resemble other locations and levels and landscapes from other backrooms levels and from real life, except these are non-linear, gross, conglomeration, glitchy things of that real thing. So there could be what looks like a city, but it's just warping and glitching and floating around. But again, that's all just a theory. A backrooms theory. See what I did there? Others who don't believe in that theory that I just talked about believe that this place is just a bizarre, random, meaningless plane of reality that doesn't have a purpose or a meaning. So they pretty much think it doesn't mean anything. Personally, I like the first theory that the backrooms draws this dark, magical energy from this level to make other levels itself. But let me know your theories in the comments. Pretty interested to see what y'all have to say. If you, for some reason, 
want to come here, you want to avoid one thing specifically, and that thing is touching or making contact with any of the glitching fragmented structures. Because if you do that, your existence will literally start to crack and rupture, and then you'll start fading away. Like, you could touch one of those pyramids or one of those statues there, and just start decoding and not exist anymore at all. In any way. It's happened before, and it's terrifying to think about what that might look like. Entities that we normally talk about here on the channel, like hounds and that kind of thing, they're not seen here as themselves, and it's thought that they wouldn't be able to survive anyway, but there actually have been glitchy prism and shape looking things in the sky that kind of resemble entities. Maybe those prisms are like cocoons that entities are made in for the back rooms? Who knows? Now it's said that entities have been seen no clipping here by accident, just like people do, but those entities have seemingly transcended and melted together with the broken's environment and have become these glitchy, warping, broken things that aren't bound by the laws of physics that you can see glitching around everywhere. And they'll just float and warp for the rest of existence. As of right now, no one knows the entrance or the exits to this horrifying level, which honestly makes it more terrifying because you have no idea how to avoid being sent here, and you also have no idea how to leave if you were sent here. Nice! But yeah, let me know your theories about this level in the comments. Is this level some sort of power location that the backrooms pulls power from to make entities and levels, or is it just another random glitchy corrupted level? Who knows? That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy this level, and I think you all should go out and check the article in the description for yourself. Egglord, the author, did an incredible job of the world building, and I think it made it a really fun read. So yeah, it's awesome. Now, if y'all are still watching, comment Broken Brugly in the comments so I can see who all the real ones are here. I'll heart all the ones I see as always, and I appreciate you for commenting. All the images in this video, except the main one, uh, were made by me with an AI, which in my opinion makes it creepier, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to start including AI remakes of the level pictures in the videos just to spice it up a little bit, so I hope you're hyped for that. Thank you so much for your support and your interaction with my channels and my content. I love and appreciate all of you. Hope you're hyped for everything I got on my sleeve this November and December. Brumus is coming. Thanksgiving stuff's coming. Christmas stuff's coming. Everything is on the horizon, and I'm hyped for it. Hopefully, y'all are ready. Uh, check out Toogly and Spoogly also, because I got content coming up there as well. Specifically, Toogly, man. I am... I'm going crazy on too. I got a bunch of videos going out, a bunch of reactions. I think you'll really enjoy what's over there, to be honest. Anyways, that's all for me self-promoting and blabbing and stuff. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace!